today. We'll show you a few skills that are especially helpful for wingers. Helping you beat defenders and deliver the ultimate cross. You're watching All Attack. Soul and go. When you're moving down the wing, use the underside of your foot to stop the ball, while at the same time, turning your body to face infield. Then, use the inside of your other foot to push the ball down the wing. Now, one of the keys to this skill is actually slowing it down. When you stop the ball, you want to pause for a split second and look for a pass in field. This will sell the idea that you're actually going to stop. And leave the defender surprised when you accelerate past them. Push and go. When a defender moves to steal the ball, but the ball is too far out in front of you to cut past them, use your toe to touch the ball around one side of them. Then run around the other side to get the ball. This skill works best when a defender thinks they can steal the ball and there's lots of space behind them. Behind the leg V. When you have the ball and the defender is coming from one side, use the underside of your foot to pull the ball back and behind your leg. Then, Use the edge of your foot near your toes to push the ball past the defender. The difference between this skill and a simple pull behind leg is that a traditional pull behind leg simply protects the ball. Whereas the behind the leg V will pull the ball away and push the ball past the defender all in one motion. Slow down and speed up. When you're dribbling down the field and a defender is running alongside you, speed up and start to accelerate past the defender. Then, if the defender stays with you, slow down and allow them to catch up. Then, when the defender thinks they've caught up with you, accelerate again and go past them. The pull push. When you're on the wing and a defender is coming in from the side, use the underside of your foot to pull the ball back, while at the same time taking a small hop back with your other foot. Then use the inside of your foot to push the ball past the defender.
the inside toe cross. When you're crossing the ball in the air into the box, typically you would either whip the ball with power and curve or loft the ball high in the air. But sometimes you don't want to do either of these things. Sometimes you simply want to lift the ball over the nearest defenders and drop the ball on the head of an open teammate. To do this, use the area just on the inside of your big toe and strike upward along the side of the ball. This will result in a cross that's halfway between a chip pass and a traditional curling cross. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.